I have a question for you. Did Jesus come to cancel the culture? I was listening to this guy talking about the cancel culture and how they're trying to cancel everything, even Pepe Le Pew. Trying to get rid of him, right? This is the era in which we live. So what the cancel culture is all about? Well, it's all about conforming you to their ideals. And if you speak against their ideals, then you're canceled. So in order to sound cool and hip and relative to this whole cancel culture, the guy started to say that Jesus came and canceled the culture. That sounds really cool. Uh, not, not so cool when it's not really biblical. It has no biblical substance at all because Jesus did not come to cancel the culture. He came to redeem it. That's what the Bible tells me in Luke 19.10. The Son of Man came to seek and save that which was lost. The culture is lost. It's going against Christ, anti-God, in opposition of anything wholesome from a biblical point of view. And just to sound cool and relativistic, uh, this guy was saying that Jesus came to cancel the culture. Brothers and sisters, listen. Get, it, get into a church that's really biblical. That, that When I say biblical, I'm talking about the pastor engages in expository preaching. That's explaining the text as God gave it to us, not adding or taking away from it. Not trying to make it sound cool and relevant to the culture and tickle itching ears. I, I mean, the Christian culture, you know what's wrong with the Christian culture? They love their ears to be tickled. They want to be told about love and forgiveness and grace. And then they're full of hypocrisy because they offend and slander people and talk evil about people behind their backs. And then they're at other churches saying stuff about forgiveness and can and that Jesus came to cancel the culture. Luke 19.10 tells me he came to redeem. He came to seek and save the that which is lost. My brothers, my sisters, do away with this. Christianity that wants to come across hip and cool and relative to the culture. Get rid of it. Throw it in the trash can. Get get yourself a pastor who engages in biblical theology, who defends the biblical text, who's not afraid to speak the truth in love. That's what you should do. But this is what's wrong with the present Christian culture. They, 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 they want to come across like they're, they're connected to the people, but they're really not connected biblically. They're connected in a secular way, in a secular way. And this is what's damaging Christianity in the eyes of the people who are unsaved, that, that are pagan. They, they make fun of this type of Christianity. There's an overabundance of these ministers and Christians in our society. No wonder judgment from God is coming to America. Because we want to be stroked. We want to love our sin and still raise our hands on Sundays and appear to be godly when we deny the power of God. The power of God is Christ Jesus. He is the power and wisdom of God. They are afraid of coming face to face with biblical truth. When Jesus was on the road to Emmaus, he began to open the scriptures to those two men and they said their hearts were burning within them. That's how we should preach and teach the word of God like our master who came to redeem the culture, not cancel it. This is Noel from Hope in Christ Church. God bless you.